Now, can sound be poured? Hmm. I've got. Little demonstration up here. It smells vinegary up here. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Little pipe here. Gonna heat up the insides of that pipe. And here's the sound I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, sorry. I wasn't even close, was I? Oh, okay. Can I pour, let me see if I can pour that sound. I don't know where that sound's coming from. Maybe I'm getting those molecules and they're all screaming mad because I'm heating them up. Okay. I'm going to try pouring that sound. Pretty impressive. I don't know. That's Okay, and if you leave it there, that's called a magic trick. <laughs> but if you explain it, you get to call it a chemistry demonstration. <laughs> okay, so here's the catch. These screws right here are holding onto a piece of screen. The kind of nichrome screen you might use on a, you know, a um, Bunsen burner ring, you know, to support a beaker. So it's a kind of nichrome wire screen, two, two thicknesses of it, okay? wedged up in there, and the screws, you don't need the screws, but I use this one a lot, so I put the screws in there, I travel with this one. I put a little handle on there too. When I heat this up, I'm getting that screen very hot, and I'll actually try to show that to you. Maybe you'll see it. Yeah? In there glowing? Great. No sound though, I wonder why this isn't making any sound. Oh. So that screen heats up the air. Hot air rises. And that creates all kinds of turbulence patterns in here, okay? Kind of like I'm showing there. I caught that uh, little, I put image search for turbulence and I got that, it's kind of cool. So that's going on in here and causing the pipe to resonate. But wait a second, you then saw me pour the sound, didn't you? No, you saw me turn the pipe from being vertical to being horizontal. And guess what? The hot gases can't rise anymore. But wait, then you saw me pour it back in the pipe. No, no, you saw me turn it vertical, and as long as that screen's still hot, which is why I have two layers of it there, you might think, why not three or four layers? Then you start restricting the airflow through it. So two is probably good. I could pour it back in. So here it is without the, without the cup as the distractor. All magicians want some kind of distraction there. The cup was just to throw you off. Why doesn't this work though? It's, uh, it can't be pulled through, it's gotta be pushed through? I don't know, okay. There, oh, and as an extension on that demonstration, <laughs> you know that the sound has to do with lots of things, among others, the length of that tube. Now we're crossing over to physics, but eh, what the heck. Whose fleece was white as snow? Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't quit my day job, I know. Okay. My day job is the same as your day job. It has been for 29 years. I love it. Okay.